This game has a bit of a creepy start. It wants to know my name, date of birth, and hobby? What does it matter to you? What is my biggest dream? I'll tell you my biggest dream is to stop getting pestered with these job interview questions. What's my silliest secret? Well, is Nintendo trying to take data from us? And even if they were, how would they do that when this data couldn't be distributed to them due to a lack of internet? Everything about this is just weird. You should have seen it coming, buddy. Why the f was EGAD turned into a helicopter? There's four characters. I know it's Game Boy Advance, but four characters? That's it? If you were expecting to play Mario Party, you know, hence the name Mario Party Advance, well, you're not getting that. Instead, we have a limited number of dice rolls and have to complete fetch quests by ourselves. That's the game. So games and gadgets fell out of the sky, which serves the purpose of doing side quests, but why do I have to get them? Can't Toad run to everyone's house and get his crap back? So I needed to buy this Goomba a ticket. First off, this is with my own money, so thanks for that, pal. And second, look how close he is to the train station! Get it yourself next time! Look, I know it's just a video game, but if an actual UFO showed up, they would not be following orders or signs. In fact, everyone would probably die and they'd drain all the resources. The Chain Chomp Barks. Even if it wasn't compressed, the pitch is just way off. No prob, I'd be delighted. Well, wait a minute, what if I don't want to get his coal? I'm not left with that option. Nailed it. There's a lot of buzz about this game room. <laughs> I get it, buzz, I, I get it. Ah yes, my favorite vending machines. The ones that sell coal. GK means goalkeeper, not good kitty. Oh really? I thought GK stood for Gamer King. Only the best fast food joint out there. Look how big the net is. Look how big Bowser is. Do you see the problem? Oh wow, I literally just kick straight and it goes through his legs. It's literally impossible to lose since you only have to score three of the five goals. So the Chain Chomp wants to challenge me to this duel game where you cut at a chain, but I end up facing Luigi? What about the Chain Chomp? Anyway, when I end up winning, the Chain Chomp's all like, you beat me? Uh, bro, you didn't even participate, you weenie. These are the strangest side quests ever. I'm now helping a Wiggler get a date. I love guys with big, deep blue eyes, and guess who it is? It's Mr. I. It's Mr. It's Mr. I. I, 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 that, yeah, I'm done. Why am I poking a womp? Last time I checked, they're a little sensitive to having their backs touched. Toadie's in the condo, stoic like a hippo. Yeah, okay, that's, that's gotta be the worst rhyme I've ever heard in my life. After getting a seashell for Goombob to try to get a date, I find out that the girl he has a crush on looks exactly like him. Besides the bow, the sprites are exactly the same. I'm now telling Bowser jokes. This is what we've come to as a society. This ninja wants a DVD. This game very quickly aged itself. So I've learned something. Don't gamble your money away trying to marry someone. I find working a job is a little easier, pal. The robbery quest is so stupid. So Koopa loses his coins, and I have to talk to three suspects to find out who it is. After talking to them all, Paratroopa is the one guilty, and what's his response? Oh, it's just a prank, bro. I was just messing with him. And guess what? He gets away with it because they're cousins. Oh. <sighs> You know, why would a Mecha Koopa need to learn math? And not because he's Bowser's minion, but because he's a robot? Just Google it in your head, I don't know, you should know this. This punching bag must come to a lot of use since this thwomp doesn't have arms. So this thwomp lied about getting coins stolen because he couldn't leave his own house due to the door being too small. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. Oh, pedal guy, cheesy poems don't tend to work on getting dates most of the time. It's a little annoying we can only do one side quest at a time. I can only leave a flag on one location at a time. This is a pain at the end of the game when trying to scout out the remaining quest to finish. I'm so tired of this Koopa Kid constantly interrupting me to play rock, paper, scissors, or randomly launch me somewhere else on the map. Don't you have something better to do? After beating the final quest, we get this very uncomfortable batch of text saying congrats with no music. It's really unsettling. Mr. I is learning how to wink for Peach. Well, good luck with that. That's all I gotta say, best of luck with winking without an eyelid. I've barely talked about the mini games, and that's because they're pretty bland. A lot of them are just really forgettable. We spend the entire campaign unlocking widgets, and it turns out most of them are like the stupidest things ever, like counting sheep. What? What's the point of this? 
You don't even interact with this widget. You just watch the, the shine gleam and that's it. Okay, how do I even respond to this? This is basically Nintendogs, but you can't interact with the dog. Great widget. Oh, dude, thank God there is an eye exam widget. Finally, after all these years, I can take eye exams in the comfort of my own home. Trying to balance this stupid egg to stand up straight. I've wasted more time than I want to admit doing this. You can't be serious. A fan widget? What the heck? This might be the worst bowling game I've ever played. That's because there's no physics with the pins whatsoever. You just pray they all fall down. So yeah, Mario Party Advance is just okay, but I wouldn't really call it a Mario Party game per se, and I wouldn't call this one either. Oh yeah, we're going there. This is Mario Party E, and what is this? Well, it's a card game and a board game kind of mixed together, and it also uses the e-reader. Let's check it out. So the goal of this game is to put a superstar card in play. That's how you win. But you can only do that once you have the superstar's hat, clothes, and shoes. There's also coins, block cards, search cards, chaos cards, dual cards, and we even use the e-reader at some points. This actually looks kind of cool, but... Nathaniel isn't here, and I've got no one to play with. All right, pal, so you get five cards to start, and uh, I'll let you go first. Good. Just want to double check you weren't alive still. All right, well, might as well try out the e-reader games. Castaway Mario is annoying because we have to grab a fish, but the rod goes so slow that it's really hard to time. Mario's Mallet. You just hit the Goombas and you avoid Luigi. Daisy's Rodeo, everyone's favorite quick time event minigame. Fast Feed Yoshi, eat a coin or a shy guy. Who knows what you'll get because there's no strategy. Bolt from Boo, run away from the Boo faster than the other player. Time Bomb Ticks, count up faster than the other player. Waluigi's Rain, collect coins. Wario's Bluff, stop a car before it flies off the hill. Balloon Burst, don't pop the balloon. Okay, you know what, I've had enough of this. I'll just wait till Bethaniel comes back. 